All right, guys, you know what it is? Today is the first day of our long week of giveaways. And don't forget this two, uh, Thursday, right? July 4th, our ultimate tool bag we're going to give away. Uh, but today we got a really cool giveaway. What do we got? Uh, we're giving away a Vito Pro Pack cargo tote. Sweet. Kind of like this one like right this here. One? Not, but you're getting a brand new one from Vito, I believe. Vito or Tool Nut? I worked this deal out with Tool Nut and Vito Pro Pack, so they're going to be sending you a brand new cargo tote. And who and are you I, giving it to? I love these things. Juan F. He's always right, commenting Juan. in the forums and stuff like that. So Juan, tell him how to get it. Juan, okay, in order to get this, you have to email us at social at toolsandaction.com. Again, it's social at toolsandaction.com. That's really the only email we actually read and see. If it goes somewhere else, we might not see it. So again, social at toolsandaction.com. I need your name, your actual full name, your full mailing address, including your zip code, and just put on the top subject, put winner Vito Pro Pack. Yeah. I mean, just please follow those instructions because a lot of times people don't follow the instructions. We just get an address with the screen name. We can't send we can't, it to yeah. that. And, and a lot of people email us. So you have to email social at tools and action. Yeah, because you know, we've over the years we've had different emails in that and some of them we're still trying to find and gather up and clean up and sometimes we can't and people will send stuff there. We don't check those emails at all. So Yeah, and if you guys send us an email and we haven't got back to you, I apologize. It's just been crazy. Yeah. All, All right, right so congratulations. Tomorrow someone else is going to win something. Yep. All right, Tools so, in Action. Let's go watch the video. Let's do it. All right, what's up, everybody? Today on Tools in Action, we're having a revisit. You guys love revisits. I do, and I, especially on this, I think it's going to be cool because I have some questions. But Okay, it's been about a little over a year without Paragon cover. Uh, the Paragon cover, if you didn't see the video before, basically folds in like an accordion, and it's a real cost-effective co cover. You get it directly from Paragon, so you know, you're not spent spending an extra four or $500 for dealers and stuff like that. And it's pretty simple and easy to install yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, only I thought it was really easy to install. Yeah, I mean, with any kind of cover, me and Eric were talking about this earlier, cover, box, uh, deck, anything, there's yeah. always a downside. There is, yeah. Everyone has their advantage and everyone has their downside. Um, <clears throat> the only downside I would say to this, I would say actually two downsides, is that you have to drill holes in the Ford I mean, who likes drilling holes? It's not that big a deal. It's just right in the sides here, but still. And uh, the second downside is that when it is folded in, if cargo shifts up front, it's not going to open. So like if I had something big here, hit the brakes and it moved up here, I'm not going to be able to open it because that cargo is going to be right here. Oh, like push the, I got you. Okay, right. Yeah. But, you know, traditionally a roller top will have a big canister right there anyway. So that space isn't usable, yeah. but this, space is usable so if we go get sheets of plywood we don't want it to get wet we can still use that whole space yeah you yeah. know so we're just sliding out the back so just keep that in mind put a cargo bar up there if you yeah. want to stop stuff and i've never been a fan i remember dan telling me he's going to get one of these and i <laughs> thought for sure he's going to put it on his truck 100 percent sure and he's going to take it off in two weeks because i don't know i never liked them because you know what especially the metal ones they're noisy this one i gotta say this one looks nice it's not noisy and it's just it's been good to you yeah, no, it's been really good to me. And like I said, I mean, I can't reach when I'm washing and I hand wash the truck, so I haven't even washed it in like a year, you know? And it's really been resilient, held up, I gotta say. Yeah. Let's fold it. It's really stiff because I don't use it much. But basically that's how it folds, you guys. And then you just go into the corner there, pull a latch, and the whole system comes out. Um, <clears throat> install was a breeze, like I said. Oh, I never knew that. It really doesn't take up much room. Like, no. I was thinking for some reason, it, uh, yeah, which doesn't make sense, but I thought you had more of like, it took up more room. No, I mean, what do you, would you say that is eight inches maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I would say it takes up about eight inches. Yeah. But now I can use my bed. This is a short bed anyways. Um, but I see, I used to use one of these cargo bars I got from Harbor Freight just to keep my stuff back here. That's a good idea. Yeah, because you know, especially with gas cans, don't you hate driving around with gas cans? Yeah, yeah. I'm here, I'm gonna show you guys the best idea in the world, you guys. Hold on. For gas cans? Yeah. All right, I want to know what this is, because I usually just put a bungee cord or something like that on there. <clears throat> no, go to Harbor Freight, get yourself one of these cargo bars, you guys. Tighten it up to the gas tank. You know, if you got a plastic can, and then when you close it, well, this one obviously. They can't see that, but well, no, I'm going to show but, you. All but right. normally, does it what you're just saying? Yeah, it, it wedges it in, it in there. Okay. Yeah, it wedges it in there, so it's kind of you know your can's not moving all around. That's how I do it. It's really simple. <clears throat> like I said, any cargo management system 
anything you put in your bed is a downside because you're putting it in your bed. Yeah, you're taking up space away. It's right. the same thing. I love my truck box, but again, it takes space away. Right. As far as uh, weatherproof, you know, it leaks a little bit on the back here. You know, it's not 100% waterproof by what any means. What do you mean means. it leaks? Like a lot of water comes in here? <clears throat> no, it's just, just around back here. Oh, so it's not Yeah, like... I mean, it happens, okay. you know. I mean, it happens with all the covers. No cover is really weather tight. Um, but other than that, you guys, I mean, it's been a pretty good system. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it still works really well. Actually, I got to grab that center. What are you going to do? Grab that. Can you reach it? Yeah. There you go. So to close... Oh, my <laughs> God. Here. So to close it, you guys, you just pull it. And that's it. And the good thing is, too, is... <clears throat> Since it locks up here, you know, people want to break into it from the back and they can't. And this this thing has been awesome. The cover for the lock. Oh, really? Yeah, because yeah, it was snow and rain. It never, uh, ever got uh, snow and rain in there. It frozen. What? That's pretty good. Yeah, so now close it. <clears throat> so now if you lock your tailgate, you got a pretty good system. But if someone wants to break into it from here, the only thing they can do is just rip it up. Yeah, and then it's going to be worthless after that anyways for them. So what's the point? You right. Know? So I don't know, you guys. It's pretty cool. It's sleek. Uh... Definitely, if I had to do it again, I would definitely go with a Paragon. And I just saw they have painted ones now. That oh, before the, they only came in black? Or? Yeah, now okay. they have painted ones that match your truck. But, I mean, I got to say, this, this finish is really resilient, you guys. Check cool. it out. All right. Very cool. Tools in action. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.